These are the Ray-Ban Matic glasses, and today I'm going to be really talking about what the video quality looks like in these. We actually have two different cameras on these glasses. One is a privacy light that will be flashing, and the other is the camera. Let me show you what it looks like. To turn these on, you have a little on switch right here. You can flick those on, and you will see a little blue light shine right there. And if these are on your face, you'll be able to see that inside the glass as well, so you know they're connecting. Then you have a button up at the top and the glasses on the right side, and you will click that once to take a photo, and you click and hold to start taking a video. And as you can see, the indicating light is starting to go off. And that is so people know that you're taking a video. And on the right side here is actually taking a video right now. Now the video quality is 1440 by 1920, so it does not do full landscape, but the quality is 12 megapixels, so you can zoom that in. And I found that to be very nice. And then you just click again to stop the recording. And as you can see, the white light is now off and they look like normal sunglasses again. Now I found the qu overall quality of these glasses to be really high and the video quality especially is what I wanna talk about. Low light, I saw a little bit more grain as you can see from these clips, but overall I think the quality looks really, really nice. As you can see, they're in that social media format like four by five, but you can extend it out to horizontal if you want to. Battery life, I was getting about four hours and then with the actual case, is a charging case and as you can see when you lift it up, it has a little charging indicator saying it's not charged all the way. You get 36 hours if you start using that charging case as well, which is really nice. And you have 12 megapixel photos as well. Now the daylight, I was really impressed with how it looked. I think it's a lot sharper than I expected and the colors look really nice. The only issue I would say is since the glasses are on your face, as the lenses are a little bit over your eye level, you have to look a little farther down if you want something to be centered. And also if you're looking with the lenses here, the camera you're taking videos with, as you can see with the light being on here again as you're recording, is on the left side. So if you're looking, you have to actually kind of you have to look a little bit more to the right to get that image centered with what you're actually wanting to shoot. So that's one thing to keep in mind as the camera's not technically right in the middle of your forehead. If you want something to be centered while you're shooting it, you just have to make sure you turn your head a little bit more to the right. This is what the glasses look like when they're on. And they'll have a little ringing noise so you know that they're activated. And the button on the right here, like I said, if you press it, I'll take a photo and you can see the light blinking. And if you press and hold, it will start taking that video. And now you can see the light flashing. I was surprised at how dim it actually is. And then on the right side here, you have a panel, a touch panel where you can actually activate different controls, even though you can't see it. If I tap, it will pause music or I double tap, I will go to the next song if I'm playing music, which is really nice. And you also can swipe up and down on, on the side here to put the volume up or down when you're listening to music. And as you can see, the overall fit looks like normal sunglasses, which is really nice as well. Overall, I'm really impressed with how lightweight they are and how nice. I really like the classic Ray-Ban look, and I think they look really great. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I can answer them or do another follow-up video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.